If you were looking for an unboxing video on the Canon GX5020, stay tuned because today that's what we're going to be doing. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer unboxing video and today we've got the Canon GX5020. This is a mega tank printer in the Canon lineup and I'm so excited to share with you what is in the box, all of the features, all of the specs, even my take on whether you should buy it or not and who this printer would be for. Uh, so I ask that you stay from the beginning of the video all the way until the end so you can get all that information in. But before we go on into the rest of the video, if this video ends up being helpful, I ask that you like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Now if you find this video to be very helpful and you're very appreciative of it, you can show your support. And you can actually leave a donation through the new super thanks button down below. It is well above and beyond, but it is greatly appreciated. Now also the sponsor of today's video is my very own product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. The Best Printers Cleaning Kit is for when you're printing blank pages, not able to print a certain color, or you have just faded or choppy prints. You're really gonna wanna look into purchasing the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. There's gonna be a link down in in the description below if what I've described to you is happening to your current printer consider purchasing this product now there's also going to be links uh, for this printer itself and I'm also probably going to throw in a link for some remanufactured ink just so that you have that as a resource remanufactured ink is always going to be less expensive and especially with these tank printers it really doesn't pick up on if it's remanufactured or if it's OEM at the end of the day they're the same ink it's just liquid so you can't go wrong with remanufactured ink. I'm really excited to get on into the rest of the video, so why don't we open up this box and see what's inside. All right, so as we open up this box, what you're gonna be getting inside is, of course, the printer itself. You're going to be getting some ink bottles, you're gonna get a power cable, and then you're gonna have a startup manual, some other information along that goes with the printer. And so all of this is gonna allow you to set up your printer and get to printing right away. So here you have it, this is everything in the box. Uh, now there are different deals where they give you more ink, there are deals where you might get less ink, or usually this is the standard, uh, but really, it really all depends on the deal that you end up getting and where you end up getting the printer from. Again, you can always get this printer at any time uh, by using the link down in the description below. Now you may already know this, uh, but this is a tank printer. So you're switching from ink cartridges to now using ink bottles, and those ink bottles are inserted uh, into the ink tanks. Uh, that ink is then taken, pushed into the system, and it works very much the same as an ink cartridge-based printer as far as the print head, uh, but of course there's a lot more going on with different uh, connections uh, for the ink. And of course here what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be using the Canon app and you can do this by scanning that QR code on that instructional sheet that comes in the box. It's going to take you to a page where you can actually download the Canon printing app. Once you've downloaded that app, you have access to the app and you can really begin to set up the printer that way. I really recommend this if you have a smartphone. And this printer, because it doesn't have a main home screen that's a touch screen and a bigger uh, LED screen, you're really going to want to use a smartphone. So if you're not inclined to using your smartphone for most things, you may want to stay away from this printer. This printer really is going to be at its best when you're actually using a smartphone, iPad, uh, even an Android device, doesn't really matter, but as long as it's a smart device, that's really going to help you out. Now, if you haven't installed ink bottles before, you're going to want to watch the ink installation video for this printer. That's going to be linked down in the description below. Uh, and that is because I'm going to go through a more detailed process. Right here, I'm kind of skipping through it. You install the black and then the color ink, and there's a very simple way to install them. But if you haven't done it before, it's not simple. So you're going to want to watch that video. For the sake of time, in this video, we're going to skip ahead and we're going to talk about the features and everything else that goes along with setting up and actually making your first print. 
the print quality also is going to be tested but that's also a separate video so please refer to the uh, description box below for any other videos that you feel like you may be missing out on uh, you can watch them by clicking on those links so you can see the ink system there that we just took a look at here is the back paper tray that can be adjusted for different paper sizes of course uh, up to a certain limit which is usually 8.5 by 11 and that is going to stand true for this printer uh, there's also a bottom paper tray so you have two ways uh, to load paper photo paper and different types of uh, you could even load up cardstock because it has a back paper tray so the printer is going to ask you if you want to make an adjustment and this is really to adjust the print head uh, when it's initially starting up and this is going to be your first print actually that you're going to do if you choose to do the alignment you don't have to do the alignment however I do recommend it just so that the print head gets acclimated the ink is pushed into the system and you know that everything is generally working the way it's supposed to so you're going to allow this process to go and run its course it's going to take eight to ten minutes uh, once that is done then we're going to continue on with the rest of the setup for this printer there's really not a whole complicated um, setup with this printer it's pretty cut and dry like most other printers before it but of course the biggest difference with this printer probably to a printer that you've had in the past is that ink tank system is that Canon is now leaning more towards smartphone technology and unfortunately like I said one drawback from having this printer is not having a touchscreen a larger LCD display where you can kind of you know go in there and and if you want to use your smartphone you can but if you want to just uh, primarily use the screen you can as well with this one you have to lean towards using the smartphone through the smartphone what you're gonna be doing now you want to explore you want to make sure you get comfortable with using the app and when you click the top left corner that's going to be to add a printer it's a printer icon with the plus sign this is how you're actually going to connect the printer to your phone and to your Wi-Fi and ultimately to your app so you go through this process of clicking uh, that button that looks like two paper clips uh, bind it together you're gonna hold that down for a period of time for a few seconds and then that should allow the Wi-Fi to actually come in and there's gonna be a process for you to connect to the Wi-Fi this is very important you want the printer connected to Wi-Fi because you're gonna have so many more options when you do this plus when you're using the app there's really no workaround around this you need to be connected to Wi-Fi unfortunately a lot of information on this printer was limited uh, but I will give you what I currently have and that is that this uh, printer is able to hold 250 sheets in the lower tray 100 sheets in the rear tray you have uh, two-sided that means double-sided printing it's using energy star EPEAT silver and you have a three-year warranty on this printer no matter where you buy it you should have that warranty with Canon uh, and you have different specs uh, such as you have 6,000 pages uh, black and white 14,000 pages and in color included with your current ink set that means that the current ink that you are uh, getting in the box you're gonna be able to sit, print about 6,000 uh, black pages and 14,000 color pages now this section in the app is very important because it's going to show you how much ink you have in your printer it's also going to give you some options for maintenance and a lot of other things that you're really going to want to be aware of the maintenance uh, box uh, which is a very important aspect of the printer over the long term so once you're connected to Wi-Fi once you're connected to the app you're totally set up you have maybe done the adjustment maybe not but now you are ready to print and you can print photos you can print regular documents and anything else that you saw advertised for this printer for the most part should all be accurate unfortunately as I said there wasn't a whole lot of information on this printer as far as specs uh, but you get the general idea of what this printer is capable of the one thing it's missing of course is a glass scanner uh, and an automatic document feeder those are big aspects of a printer but as we come to the back of the printer we see that there are two connections or rather three connections one of them for the USB where you can actually still connect directly to a computer and of course you have your power connection and you have a internet or fax connection as well this is the uh, rear tray that you can pull out just in case there's a paper jam that's very important to have another thing you have access to on the back of the printer is the maintenance box 
So you can actually unscrew the screw that you see here, the larger one, uh, with a Phillips head screwdriver. And what you'll have access to is the maintenance box. The maintenance box needs to be swapped out every so often, and you can actually check that out through the app, through utilities, and, uh, under maintenance, and you'll be able to see how full it is. Once it's full, you're gonna wanna swap that out. Of course, buy a new one, change it out, take the old one out and put a new one in, and then you can close it back up and you're good to go. All right, so should you buy this printer? Well, you really have to ask yourself a few questions. Do you need a scanning bed? Do you need an automatic document feeder? Uh, are you leaning more towards using your smartphone or other devices with this printer? Uh, do you like the ink tank setup and all the savings you're gonna get with the ink? There's a lot of different factors that you really have to ask yourself when buying this printer. So I'll leave that up to you. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.